This woman is squeezing the dung she has just found, and then smears it all over her body. So the zombies cannot smell her body anymore. Then, and pours her blood into a toy cell phone. The blood smell and the noise from the phone will attract the zombies. After a while, the roars turn up. They have come. And hastily runs to the wood. While the zombies are lured, she sneaks to a house to find stuffs. And walks to the two bodies, and she finds a shotgun. Unfortunately, the only two bullets are used. She walks to the kitchen. The broken fridge smells really bad. Luckily, there is some canned food. In this moment, and hears the sound of the zombies coming closer. She takes the food, climbs through the window, and starts running. The zombies are chasing after her. And rapidly creeps through an iron mesh, but her belly is unluckily cut. Regardless of the wound, she runs to the other side of the road. She lifts the urine bucket and pours it onto her body from head to toe to get rid of the human smell. After that, the zombies stop chasing. And is temporarily safe. She goes to the river and sutures the wound with a needle. These skills were taught by her husband. Half a year ago, the epidemic broke out. Her husband is Jason, he took her and the daughter, who is a few months old, to the remote area. He taught and the living skills, taught her how to use gun. Actually, the life was fine. Until one day, her daughter had a fever. Jason risked his life to find the medicine. From that night, he has not come back. The next day, and found his body bitten cruelly by the zombies. His hand was still holding the medicine. Since then, there were her and the daughter. The first time and looked for food, she met an eating zombie. She slowly walked forward, fired the gun, the blood was all over her body, but and did not care. She went back to her place. She hastily embraced the crying baby. Consequently, the daughter inadvertently licked the zombie blood on her shirt. And was very nervous. She prayed for safety, but what happened was not what she wanted. On the baby's belly, there were some red nodules. These were signs of being infected. And did not know what to do. She used hot water to disinfest her daughter, while she kept saying sorry. The baby cried out loud because of hot water, but it actually did not change anything. And sat by the baby daughter all night. Finally, she had a decision. She crushed the whole vial of painkiller. Then, she put a drop of her blood into it, she gave her daughter to drink. Her heart was full of pain, but she also felt a little relieved. In the apocalypse, maybe death is liberation. Living day by day like her is like being tortured every day. Lacking food, and cracks the bark and catches the worms to eat as food. She uses a knife to take the bark and catches the insects inside. Putting them in the cake, she has a meal. However, she vomits all after eating it. At the end of the world, zombies are everywhere. Normal food has become the most luxurious thing. And cannot eat the wild food so she has to find some. When she is on the big road, she sees two people. And raises her gun and slowly comes to see, she realizes that they are not zombies. The girl turns her head to see Anne. The man is in a coma. The girl pulls up his shirt, there is no red spot on his belly. This means they are not infected. And is sympathetic, she takes them to her place. Talking to the girl, and acknowledges that the man is her stepfather. Her other relatives have turned to zombies. That night, Chris is sober. They don't want to bother, and so they decide to leave in the next morning. But in the next day, it's raining so they have to stay. After living together for a while, and is more friendly. The relationship between her and Chris is closer. This makes the girl Olivia unhappy. She feels like the only relative she has is stolen. Especially that night, she sees her stepfather get into Anne's vehicle. Olivia's unhappy feeling has turned to hateful feeling. In the early morning, Olivia leaves by herself and brings all the food from their place. When she arrives a stump, she finally meets a zombie. The other two people hear Olivia screaming, they run to the wood. In that situation, Chris takes the zombie down and saves the girl. However, the zombie is over him and intends to shoot and save Chris, but she finds that she does not bring any bullet. However, she still comes to help. Chris gets up, takes the gun and uses it to smash the zombie's head. The danger is over but no one blames Olivia, and also actively treats the girl's wound. This place has been found by zombies, so they cannot stay long. With Chris's advices, and eventually agrees to leave, she comes to the graves of her husband and daughter to say the last goodbyes. Before leaving, they have to collect some stuffs. This time, Chris decides to be the bait. He cuts his arm by a knife. Then he applies fresh blood to the chest. He makes himself a bait to attract the zombies. The blood smell flies away by the winds. A while later, the roars ring out. After that, the tottered silhouettes appear. The zombies are coming closer. Chris starts running. He comes to the other side of road, flushes the urine on his body to get rid of the blood smell. However, the bad smell cannot get rid of the blood smell. The zombies are still chasing him. Chris does not dare to run back to their place, so he runs to another place to cut them off. 
on the other scene, and covers her body by dung, and she is waiting with Olivia. When the zombies are lured away, they get to a house to find food, and is collecting the food in the kitchen. She does not notice that Olivia is staring at her. When and is about to leave, she is hit by a stick. Olivia ties into the cupboard. She pulls her mask down which make and she shouts. The loud scream rapidly appeals the zombie's attention. Olivia takes all the stuffs and runs away. Not long after that, the zombies are outside the window and struggles to get out of the rope. Then, she takes a cleaning chemical container to wash off the smell on her body. She gets into the fridge to survive. When it's silent outside, she carefully opens the fridge and gets out. She does not expect that. After handling the zombie, she runs back to her place. Olivia runs on the road, but she forgets to get rid of the body smell by the urine. She runs to his place and finds her stepfather. After that, the zombies follow her smell and come here. Chris tells Olivia to hide in the vehicle. He stays outside and fights against the zombies himself. When and comes back, Chris is surrounded by zombies. She immediately fires a gun to kill one. She aims to the second one but she misses. There is only one bullet left. Chris near the vehicle and Olivia in the vehicle are both attacked by zombies. And can only save one, the other will die. What will she choose? Unexpectedly, finally Chris is dead. And takes Olivia away. Why did she decide to save the one that always wanted to harm her? Because and knows that, in this awful world, death is liberation, being alive is the biggest misery. Especially after losing all your loved ones. And has been through this feeling, she understands it so she saves Olivia. Although it looks like salvation, it's actually a terrible punishment.